Do you find that you are trying to find new ways to play the same thing, that you look for things like that? Well, there's, yeah, it's a guitar. So there's, I mean, one of the things I found was a three note lick. Okay. Uh, where, you know, of course, it, you know, if you have, uh, you have, you know, G, F sharp, E, and E minor. You know, there's a, a bunch of different ways you could finger that. You have yeah. all one string, or two notes on a string, and one, or even like one, and two in the next one. Yep. And it, and for slide, especially, to, to go like, that's the best way to do it. Yeah. Where if I went, you know, it's really hard on one string, but it's hard physically. Mm hmm for my little walnut of a brain, that's hard for the brain because it's counterintuitive because for the lowest note, I have to go up. Right. Because I'm going down. You know, my brain is going, go there. But my but my hand's going, I, I can't go that far. I'm going to mess it up. But if I go up, I'll, my hands will get it right. So the, the song that really got me to, to, to work on that was... Uh, uh, Long Live Rock and Roll by Dio. I did it on my Dio record. Yeah, your new the record. And the end of a dream, well, you know what I mean. <laughs> you know, you know. And then... To come, you have to come on, because at the end, if you play that, just, uh, I don't know why I put it that way. Just, no. I can always tell by my face if something's working or not. You know, if it's like, am I happy? You know, but if I'm going, you know, then it's like, oh, right on. You keep that one. When you do a record like your Dio record, yeah. how do you decide what you're going to play? What do you look for in a song when you're going to cover it? Tell me about your process for that. Well, the, the, the Dio record is very studio record, so I can kind of do anything. Yeah. Because I can overdub forever. You know, I can have the rhythm be one track and the solo be another track. Where, like, the, the thing that I was inspired to do from Andy, Andy Timmons, yeah. where you try to, like, juggle both parts, um, you know, that will work for some songs, at least with, within my level of ability. So, for example, live lately, I've been doing the, the Rocky theme. Okay. Where I can kind of juggle all the parts, you Get, I can get all the. That's kind of complete, right? You know, I mean, you can embellish it with other stuff and, and you know, put drums and bass, but it sort of makes sense as it is. Where the Dio record, I'm, I was doing much more like, you know, okay, play the rhythms now, overdub the melody, and uh, you know, so for live, I'd have to hire more people, and I don't know if I can afford that. I'd like to take a second to talk to you about this channel. This is actually Rick Beato too. I've had it since the beginning of my main channel and many of you are not subscribed. As a matter of fact, 87% of the people that watch this channel regularly are not subscribed. So I encourage you to hit the subscribe button on this channel and on my main channel. This will help me get even more of my dream guests and help continue to grow both channels. Thank you. Paul, you can reach your thumb so far back when you play that F with your thumb. Well, you've got my you got my favorite poster over here, the, the Hendrix poster, and and that's like, yeah, you know, it's it's um, I can go on long, uh, unpleasant rants. Talk, wait, talking about the thumb, about how important it is to be able to use your yeah. thumb with well, playing. Well, it, it's not necessarily even that the thumb is doing anything. I mean, sometimes it does. Yeah, it's more an indication of what your wrist is doing. And for me, like, as, as a kid, even, like, really early on, the, the thing that to me was, like, the business card of cool guitar, as much as I said, like, I want to impress the, the, the grandpas with classical stuff, the thing I wanted, deep in my heart, was to be able to do, like, you know, uh, Doc Steady! You know, have that Mick Ralph's Rock Steady vibrato. Or, you know, Jimmy Page, that... And all the Ace Freely stuff, you know. And and to do that, the the, the wrist is just a bigger body part, 
than, than the finger joints. And like, I don't know, kind of post-85, you know, the guitar players started, <laughs> they started writing, and they started trying to use the joints. Doesn't which, work. And some people could do it. Yeah. But it, 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 it's, it's so, it's such a weaker body part that, you know, and, and so even like the other stuff gets involved. Like I found that my elbow will come out from my body if I have to do like a big, you know, with a, and my elbow will be out because I want to put my wrist where it can push, and you got to, you know, ferocious calluses. Get, you know, or even, you know, Lenny Crab. <laughs> To, and then again, it helps having light strings and high action. So, like, my, my test for a guitar setup is I have to be able to play in G and grab that. Because a lot of times the action gets low there. Yeah. And, and then you can't grab the string. So, it, as shreddy as my reputation is, like, the first thing I do with any guitar, like, just pick it up and go, can I go... And if that works in G, then the guitar is set up all right. Okay, what's hard for you to play? Well, any finger picking stuff. And actually, give, give of, me some single note things that are hard to play. A, a lot of my picking comes from stuff that I can't do otherwise. Okay. Like there's that Eric Johnson thing that he does with hybrid picking. Yep. That. Uh, and you know, I, I've never learned to hybrid pick. Okay. So I tried to struggle through with with just a pick. Yeah. And I can't do it as fast or as well, but it, it, it you know, it toughened me up. Yeah. And, it, and I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to put that song in the set list. You know, leave that to the professionals. But I spent some time, you know. So, and to be able... Now, watch my, my whole shoulder is involved. Yeah. And that, that, in turn, allowed me to start doing stuff where I would skip around, let me see, like... Uh, That sort of thing, we're doing these big, you know, from there to there. 